your script is essentially the most important part of your reel, your ad, whatever sort of content you're putting out there, especially if you're paying like paid ads, you need a brilliant script. And if you watch this entire video, we've just absolutely mogged on icon, any of the AI script writers, this thing is better than all of them. So just give me like five minutes of your time. You're going to have the script writer completely for you. Once again, it's worth watching this. I'm not even selling you anything. I gave the last one away completely for free. I didn't have an integration connected. And a lot of you didn't actually receive the file because I was manually DMing it all to you. If you want it, it's in this video over here. The Jason is in the description of the video. I'm going to try automate it so that everyone who replies to this will get the JSON. But this is by far one of the most powerful NADN automations, especially for an e-com brand owner I've seen. And we're going to now use it with my creative strategies. We're going to use it in our brands. Any products we want to test, we're going to start using it. And I'm going to run you through exactly how you can make this flow, connect it and use it for your own testing, your own brand, your creative strategies, however you want to implement it in your brand. But if you're doing ads, you literally need this. You literally need this. Like it's going to save you so much time. And I just want to give my boy Ahmed a shout out because I took his, his automation. He sent it over to me, which I'm really appreciative of. And I made a few small adaptions, very minor adaptions to exactly how I would use it for my brand. But he's got like a school community. It's literally free and he's dropped a whole bunch of templates in there. So I'm going to tag him in this and you can go check him out too. Alrighty, so here is the final output. It's an AI script writer. You can see my Notion database, the name, the original script, the script we stole, the original ad. So you've got your ad link here. And then obviously the most important part, the new script you get. And over here, you can put this, you can share this with your, your creative strategist. He can like sort of mock whatever he uses. That's what we're going to do. But whether you're testing your product, you know, maybe you're doing, for example, what we're going to use in this example, a shapewear. And you have three angles, you know, you have confidence, you have being fat and you have not fitting in your jeans for summer. If those are your three angles, right? And you want to test all of them, you've got to sort of take a script. And generally what you do is you're going to go over, you're going to find an ad you like from another brand that's doing pretty well. You're going to transcribe one of their best ads. You're going to take their script. You're going to put it into GPT. You're going to give it your brand stuff, your angles, and then you're going to download the three scripts and then you're going to send it over and make the ad. So all of that transcribing, downloading files, converting them to MP3, putting it into chat GPT. We've all like automated all of that so you can do it like that let's uh, jump into this flow so first off you start with if it's an instagram reel or is it an ad id in this example i'm going to use an ad id so let's actually run the flow here um let's keep with the shapewear example a shapewear brand that does pretty well i believe quite popular so here's a like a ugc ad they did yeah, so we can see she's speaking pretty good ugc um, good copy in terms of what she's saying. So if we run this flow, test workflow, it's going to load. And what's going to happen is we're going to get a form that pops up. So Facebook ad ID, Instagram URL. So in this case, I just go and copy and paste Facebook ad ID and press submit. And now if we hop back over here, uh, yeah, you can see our thing is running. It's a little bit glitchy because of the loom, but you can see it's run through these variables. Now, I'll break down exactly what that is, but essentially that was getting all the data doing that whole transcription process that I just said that literally takes you hours was done before I could even switch tabs. Right now it's crafting our scripts. So it's crafting three different scripts based on our brand targeting three different angles. And what that should do is it should then split out those scripts into like, obviously into each individual one. Um, and then it's going to go ahead and add them individually into our notion database. And here, one step further, you could even take it. You could connect this to Arcads or make UGC API. You could then automatically convert these into like AI UGC. You could connect it to 11 labs. You could create the AI UGC audio file, send that over to your creative strategist. I don't even know. I don't know if there's a tool yet that makes full ads just with the script, but if there is one, you could use that. If you're doing YouTube shorts or you could connect it into the rest of your automation with the script. Um, so super powerful. This is just getting the scripts and adding them. You can even make it for individual ones by simply removing this part and just saying one script. We'll break down that, but yeah, you can sell, you know, the content just for content in general. So yeah, you can see it's finished. It's looped everything. Let's look at the outcome. Right, so we've got our it actually created four because of the default standard variant, but that's fine here the original one here's our original scripts and so this is for a men's shapewear product so look at this old posture trying to see a forward shape we can upgrade my everyday fit 
let's get on instantly so this is like ugc style ads obviously you know if you didn't want it to be a ugc script you would give it a script from a different style ad in this case we took a ugc script and so that's why you know the way it's come out is quite ugc check the silhouette i'm looking to step on my confidence with forward shapewear so this one's like sort of focused on male confidence let's look at this one checking out a forward shape we can handle my daily grind let's put it on and boom every time without fail i think i'm gonna prefer this one over the, the other so you know it even like it has the brand name i believe in some of them it pulls through the offer some of the ones we generated like we said like oh it has a bogo offer yeah so it's pulled through all of those sort of things and it's crafted just really good scripts for our brands yeah like this this is a really good cta forges my secret confidence booster i'm dropping that link for you down below very organic sounding from like that ugc style all right so let's break it down i'm just going to look at the is ad id side because that's what we ran but essentially the instagram process is the same so armored gave me you know pretty much everything uh, to the beginning points here i have just changed up the, the prompts a bit i've added in my brand guidelines i've made it so that it spits out multiple variants and just added in that little loop so we get all the variants but yeah he gave me like this flow and it was like brilliantly done so, start off with you know you submit the ad id the instagram id then it decides which one it's going to go into so if you want to build this yourself you know you can take a look at we've got a, a trigger submission form with the descriptions but you know not too much i'm not going to go into this too much you'll get all of this from the json file switches so we've got the the rule you know depending on which one it is it's going to go along the different parts if you want to build this out yourself you can sort of look at what settings are done here now let's look at the is ad id side so this field essentially it just pulls across our ad id from facebook and i believe it uses appify and yeah, so this http request is appify which i never knew about before he told me about it but it's really good for pulling apis and stuff if you want to like connect you can pretty much connect to any sort of api and http request through appify into appify but yeah, essentially it just pulls the Facebook across and it's going to sort of go through all the code. It's going to pass through the code and this way it's going to find the file. The rest of this is essentially downloading the file. I would recommend, you know, just looking at this through the JSON. We're going to skip, you know, this, this is essentially going into the Facebook API. So, you know, all the contents here if you need, but I'm not going to go into these ones in too much. We'll, we'll look into the rest ones, but, and then once again, we go into the transcription. So here is the audio file. And it's going to basically take, if we click here, view, hey, Bessie, so I'm back with another shape. we've got our audio file and it's going to transcribe this and spit out a transcription. So that process of, you know, downloading your Facebook ad, like trans converting it to an MP3 file, transcribing that, plugging that into Facebook. We've literally done all of that, which you know, can take you know, 30, 40 minutes. It just did that in a second before we were even able to like actually change the tab. So you can already imagine how much time this is going to save you, your creative strategist. Now let's look at the interesting bit, the brand guideline doc. So the brand guideline doc, I added this part in myself. And what I recommend is if you're running multiple brands, you create an in-depth brand guideline doc for each brand. This one is very basic because I made it for an example. Of course, if you're using it for a core brand, I would recommend going into a lot more depth. So the brand guideline is essentially what our product is masculine shapewear built for results designed for everyday men so we've spoken about who it's for our offer we're doing a bogo using urgency key angles confidence masculine uh, everyday fit upgrade and like sucking in your stomach you could probably make that a bit more clear of like man boobs whatever you know the angles are and then our tone how we speak to them speak like a coach or brother so this is going to be very important to make sure that our actual ad copy is for our brand gets that sort of angles and pushes exactly what we want to push across i'm going to change this to like in-depth sheet for just my brand and then i'm going to keep spitting this out but if you're like testing a product like if you're in the testing phase and you're using this for testing ads i think this is where this flow can be incredibly great if you don't have a brand guideline because you're doing product research then just simply delete this node and then you can get all the transcriptions from other ads if you have an idea then you know put whatever information you have about the product you want to run and what sort of ideas you have your offer or even just like if you if you know you want to change it to like a buy one get one free offer or 50 percent off put that in the brand guideline sheet and then it's very simple to connect you just you know you just put the url of your doc in there and then we're going to go into this part which is the most important as this is what's creating the scripts 
So this is your AI script writing agent and having a good prompt here is incredibly important. You are a direct response copywriter trained to adapt high performing Facebook ad scripts to new brands without ordering the structure for placing below is the transcription of an existing Facebook ad script. So over here in the open AI section, you can literally just pull this text across. You can drag and drop in there. And that's what we did. So we've given it the reference from our previous transcription task is to rewrite for the brand, blah, blah, blah. You know, make sure you use the CDA structure, emotional tone, etc. Here's the brand and product info. So from your document, here's the content I pulled. You can see what is the product and you can drag and drop that in there. And then at the bottom of your prompt, I would suggest saying create output in a JSON array. If you don't know what that means, it's fine. Neither did I. You're going to turn this on, require specific output format. And what that does is, this is only if you're creating multiple ad scripts. If you just want one, ignore that part and delete this little spit out thing. What that does is it creates your different scripts. So when we look at how this output is done, if we look at the table, you can see it's created four scripts, well, not three, four, but we're just going to run with that. And it spat them out into different scripts um, and that's because essentially we've just got four and we just want an easy way for this sort of flow to upload it into notion the rest of this is very simple essentially what it's doing is it's taking the scripts individually so you can see four items are traveling through and the loop is it's just running them it's uploading to our notion so all our scripts over here in notion it's adding them in there and then it's repeating that process of just adding them all in and why this is so powerful, you scroll into Instagram, you see an ad, you just copy the ad, you go, you know, you run your test workflow, you paste in your Instagram URL, let's see, it's automatically copied it, boom, submit, form has been submitted, let's go back and see if it's running, and boom, we just were on Instagram, you doom scrolling, you see an ad, you like, fire script, you plug it in this flow, instantly you've got however many scripts you want to generate, send this over to your creative strategist, or get a creative strategist to use this. We're getting our creative strategist on this. And this is the beauty of implementing. Okay, we just need to change. I'm going to actually change it. I, I know what the issue is. It's just not connected to our API in this note. If you have a strategist or, you know, the beauty of these flows is that if you're running an e-com business, we're literally using these in our business, which is why these are so powerful. It's because these are things we're using every day. You don't need to have huge teams anymore. I mean, the issue with e-commerce is the margins. Like we're not known for having the best margins. Now, everyone's flexing the triple whale screenshots with 10, 15% margins on crazy numbers, but they're not showing that they've spent 40K on their team, their ops. Their ops are super expensive. And the point of using these is now with AI, you can scale lean teams, have great margins, and get your brand doing eight, nine, I don't know, maybe you even get to a billion dollars just with having one crack guy who's a little bit autistic and probably drinks too much coffee. And instead of having him with a whole bunch of people under him, You've got him with a whole bunch of AIs under him. For example, our creative strategist spends a lot of time writing scripts. Majority of the time before he goes and starts editing stuff and getting inspiration, he spends writing scripts and he's always sending me Instagram reels. He's like, oh, this is a great Instagram reel. I'm going to go like take this as inspiration for the script. Like, bro, in one second, in the, in the time he could have wrote that message to me on Slack, he's already got five scripts from this flow that he can go and edit that night. So all of that time for him is saved. And that's gonna, you know, drastically increase not only the quality, but the creative volume that we can put out there. And it's not only volume, it's about quality. And this ticks both of those off the list simply because it's just so fast. And what's even cool is you can go, you can connect this to 11 labs. You wanna generate a ton of AI scripts, boom, you plug 11 labs in here and you've got the script files ready and done. You want AI UGC. Go take ARCADs or make UGC. They have a great API. You go and literally plug this in this exact workflow. And now you've got a whole bunch of really good scripts with AI UGC. And the point is that if you're not making good scripts, no matter how good your visuals are, no matter how good your editor is, the ads aren't going to convert. You need a good offer. You need good hooks. You need a good script. You need to keep people engaged and portray why your product is a medium to their pain, right? You need, you need to be the medium to how they're going to get their desired solution. And that's what a good script does. And that's why it makes ads go, makes ads convert, makes reels go viral. And now if you like these videos where we're literally building these AI flows for our team on the operation side, on the you know infrastructure side, on the marketing side, and how we're using them to scale our brand with like two employees, I would love to share more information. So, you know, like retweet this. And if you have a brand 
and you want to know how you can start using AI, send me a DM. Like I'm open to chat. It's a good thought experiment. No charges, completely free.